Hey, how's it going? Strict Strength YouTube channel here. Um, today, just going to walk you through some stretches uh, with the goal in mind of eventually getting your splits. So without further ado, let's launch into it. Okay, so to start out, we're going to just do our forward fold. So I'm just going to hinge over here. I'm going to start with kind of like uh, soft knees a little bit. And then um, what I like to do is kind of just like one at a time. I'll straighten one out and then the other. I feel this side more for sure. Here and here. As we kind of like relax into it. Then we bring our hands down. And just shift around. We can come on up. Find a flat back. And then fold back. Let's do that one more time. Come on up. Find that flat back. And then fold. And relax. Ooh, all right, that feels pretty good. All right, so we're going to start out with this uh, couch stretch sequence. Um, so I got this ab mat here, makes it comfortable on the knee, but you can use whatever pad you want. And kind of like the first thing you want to focus on here is to get your knee to the wall. So nice and close. Um, we don't want to get in the habit of having the knee out here. So right to the wall to start, toes up knee against and then if this is kind of where you're at to start you can keep this leg down but what we want to do eventually is be able to bring this foot up and so this whole series I'm going to show you with the foot up all right so to start out we're just going to kind of like hang out here just kind of get a feel for it Kind of moving around a little bit. Okay, and then the first kind of part to this we're going to do is we're going to bring this elbow down to our foot. So we want to get nice and low, crouching down, elbow to the ground. Okay. And then we're going to come up out of that. And then if you're able to, we go into an upright posture. Okay. So we're just trying to get ourselves off of the floor there. Wherever your hip lands here, it's fine for now. Okay. And then what we're going to do is try to get space between a hip and a heel. So you're going to kind of push your pocket towards the floor. And you usually feel this a lot more um, in the quad now, maybe that hip flexor or psoas. And if you want to deepen that stretch, what you can do is reach up and back. And that will get you more into your psoas. Good. And then if you press back into it, you'll feel it more into the quad and less less up by the pocket, more down low here. And then what I like to do is I'll actually like flex my quad a little bit or like push your toes into the wall. For about five seconds and then relax. And that usually gets the muscle to, to relax and ease into it a bit. Okay, and then the last part of this is we're gonna reach up. I like to interlock my thumbs like this to keep my hands together. And then we're gonna try to reach back to the wall. So fingertips make contact to the wall. We'll do a short hold here. And relax. Awesome, all right, let's ease out of that. 
you can shake that leg out a little bit if you need to. Cool. And then let's let's switch it up. So we're gonna go other side. Again, knee to the wall, toe to the wall. From there, we'll bring this foot up. We're just gonna hang out in this position to start. Kind of wiggle around a little bit. This feels good. Just kind of ease into it. Okay. And then let's bring this elbow again down to the ground. So crouching down low. Right. And come on up, upright. So you can kind of find your balance a little bit as you get into that upright position. And this, this side's a little bit tighter than my other side. I can feel it. So I'm just kind of relax into it a little bit. Move gently. Okay, so now I'm going to try to get some space between the, my hip and my heel by driving that hip forward or that pocket forward. Oh, that feels good. Want more so as I'm going to reach up and back. Okay, and then I'm going to press my hip back towards my foot, like so, so I can get more in that quad. And we do that quad flex about five to ten seconds. And then relax. I'm trying to get it to re relax and <laughs> ease into it. It feels better. Okay, and then thumbs together. I'm gonna reach up back towards the wall, try to get those fingertips there. A short hold. And I relax. Woo! Getting the shakes there a little bit. That's kind of crazy. All right. And I'm going to shake that leg out a little bit. Okay. So we've kind of like loosened up our muscle a little bit. We did that forward fold for the hamstrings. Um, got a lot of like psoas and quad stretch here. Um, so just to finish out this one, I know it's a little bit short, uh, but we'll finish it out. We're just going to do a couple attempts at our front splits. Um, so we'll put one leg forward, one leg back, and then we're just going to slide down into it, nice and relaxed. Kind of moving around a little bit, see how that feels. And I kind of play around with like, maybe I go soft bend in my front knee and you can kind of like push your hips lower and then you can kind of like straighten that leg out, push your pocket down and then as it feels a little bit better, maybe you get a little bit lower into it. And I'm going to relax off of that side. And then switching it up, other side. So I'm going to bring this foot forward. Slide on down the best I can. Just going to move a little bit. Okay. Okay, I'm going to bend that front knee. Slightly. Straighten that leg out. Push my pocket down. Okay, let's see if I can 
Wiggle that front foot out just a little farther. <laughs> Maybe we got a couple more inches there. All right, uh, that feels pretty good. So hopefully you like those stretches. That's uh, another one of my faves, a little couch stretch sequence.